Hey guys, Cloth here, and today we will be covering all the basics when it comes to handling XP bars via scoreboard value. So that's taking that score up there to the right and putting it down on my bar in the middle and maybe even putting it on the level if that's what you're into. So we're going to be covering all that very quickly here and let's just get into it. So in order to set the points, which corresponds to the bar of a player, you're going to need to know two things. One, you're going to need to know what is the max the bar can be. And two, you're going to need to know what value they want and how can you break it down. So probably the best way to break this number down is with binary. So the number can be represented by bits and each bit has a value that's double the previous going all the way up to 2 billion. Okay. So if our number that we want to display is nine or the amount is nine, if we represent that with binary, that's one zero zero one. So kind of breaking that down, if you started at the, uh, starting with the ones bit, each bit value is one, two, four, eight, and then 16. So let's start at 16, but we could start even higher up. So is nine greater than or equal to 16? Nope. So we go that we set that to zero and we go to the right. Now is nine greater than or equal to eight? It is. So we subtract eight from our value. So now our value is one and we put a one where the eight is. Okay. So then is one greater than or equal to four? Nope. Put a zero. Is one greater than or equal to two? Nope. Put a zero. Is one greater than or equal to one? Yes. So we put a one there and then we subtract one from one and it's zero. Now that it's zero, we know that we've kind of decomposed our number entirely into binary to get the binary value. Now, if we wanted to rep read this binary value, you just go, okay, well, we have a one, so that's one. And then we go over to the eight, we have an eight. So we do one plus eight is nine. Okay. So in the same way, we're going to do that with our score. So inside of a function, first, we're going to do the XP set points zero. Okay. Then we're going to take this number. So we're going to do execute if score in math, because it's on the math objective and it's a fake player, you can use fake players, you can use finite player scores. It really depends on how you're handling your organization, but it is possible to use fake players and be multiplayer friendly. Um, so if the score of in math matches 16 or more, run XP add at S 16 points. Okay, so that basically adds the 16. And then we need to subtract 16 from our input value. So scoreboard players remove in math 16. Okay. And then we basically just have to do this for every bit. So eight, four, two, and one. And then I will just basically change these numbers. Okay. So then we basically have all of, and I zoomed out so you can see that it really just looks like a pattern here. So check, 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 and uh, add 16, add eight, add four, add two, add one, remove 16, eight, four, two, one. Uh, so if I go ahead and set my levels to one and I do scoreboard players set in math to uh, nine and I do slash reload and I do slash function test score two points, uh, it will actually level me up. So let me do uh, that again. And now it's actually at a value that is near the end. And that's where the next problem comes in. Uh, how much of the bar is fit taken up? Like what is the maximum of the bar? And that can become a problem. So we're going to jump over to the wiki to solve this problem. But before we do that, let me just remind you uh, that for this case, I'm just going to expand this. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to change this so that it goes all the way up. So I'm going to go 16, 32. I'm just going to increase the whole thing. And just like that, we have all of the values up to 128. If you did this yourself, congrats. That probably took you a while. Maybe I have a download in the description, maybe not. Uh, and then I just set the points to zero up here. Uh, the last thing I added at the bottom was if you still have anything left, just run this guy again. But that value, that's not really needed for our case because we're going to know how much is the maximum we're going to put in. Okay, so that does everything up to 128, uh, which actually the value it goes up to is 255 because you have to add all these values to figure out what the max is. So next we need to figure out level two points. And that's this complicated math function here, which we'll get into in a second. So on the great Minecraft wiki that is experience, we can scroll down and it'll tell you everything that you want to know about experience, including leveling up, and this nice looking graph here for XP required, XP differential, 
and then it will give you this formula here. So this is the experience required for each level and it's a nice little formula for different varies, varying values of level. So we're, if we know what level the player is at, we just have to multiply it by two and add by seven if you're in this range, or you multiply by five and subtract 38 if you're in this range, or multiply by nine and minus 158 if you're in this range. So if I plug this number into the calculator, 129 times nine minus 158, you'll see that it works out to a very nice round 1003. So now that we know that at level 129, you have 1003 values, I can do something like scoreboard players set in math 500, okay? And this is where the trick comes in, and we'll go over this function later, but this is where the trick goes in. comes in. So let's go ahead and expand this to more bits. So now that we actually can support 500 or greater, now we can basically use our trick here. So the trick is going to be to set the value to 129 for your levels. And then at the end, set your levels back to, let's say five. Okay, so let's see what that does for us. So let's go ahead and run the score two points. And whoa, what is this? This is behavior you might not expect, but essentially if you set the points value at a higher level where you know what the scale is and then you reduce their level to what it's supposed to be, then it will uh, maintain the fractional percentage of the bar, if that makes sense. So if I go ahead and put in to 1000, it will give me a full bar. If I put in to uh 150 it'll give me like whatever 15 one hundredths of a bar <laughs> uh or somewhere around a tenth or if i do 750 it'll give me 75 percent of the bar now for most people this is actually okay but maybe you're trying to do something with the levels and you kind of like need the original level value back like that needs to be variable or not change well you kind of have two routes so you can create another function that is exactly like this one except you set levels to zero and you add levels instead of adding points which is totally valid uh, you can do that. Another option is to just know what your maximum is, which I don't necessarily recommend, but I've implemented it anyway if you ever need it for whatever reason. So what you can do is you can make another one of these with levels substituted out instead of points, uh, and you're good. Or, and you run it, and you basically just run it right after this. And you also store on the score what their previous level was before you set the level to zero. Or you can pass the level into this function, which calculates how much the max HP is at any given level, assuming that you have these constant scoreboards set up to be what they are named. So nine constant is nine and five constant is five and two constant is two. So if you have all this set up properly, then this will print out what the max is. And then down here, I basically just multiply the input by the max and divide by 100 to basically get a fractional percentage so that when I give an input, uh, to in one of like 50%, then it will output what 50% of the maximum is. It's a little bit higher level how it's working. This is something I use just because of a certain structure of my code, but I really could have used the thing that I described just a second ago of doing the binary stuff on the levels. I could have done that, but I didn't. It doesn't really matter that much to me in terms of efficiency. This is not that many commands either. It just runs these commands up front and then it runs this command here to figure out what the points is. Uh, it's just a little bit less accurate because when they're at a low level, the maximum is going to not have a lot of degrees of freedom. Uh, but when they're at a high level, it will have a lot more degrees of freedom. Anyways, guys, I hope you found that helpful for setting levels from objectives. Maybe it was a little bit complicated, uh, but that's kind of the nature of these things in, ter in terms of understanding why we do the things we do. There will probably be a download in the description for these two files. Maybe it'll be a paste bin, not a download where you just copy the commands from Pastebin. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.